This is code.org. Let's move up. This page has several different haikus. Do this. Choose one haiku and give it a special look by creating a class for it for its paragraph and heading tags. Use at least three CSS properties. And a property is like color, font family, background, border, all of that stuff. Okay. So, oh yeah, apparently there's haikus. Okay. And we need to give them some properties. So, deserves better example haiku. I'm going to go ahead and do a graceful bird because I see it right here. Now, if you need to hunt down where this stuff is, I'm going to go ahead and click on inspect. And if I hover over a graceful bird or you could go hover over deserves better, that starts on line 27. But a graceful bird for me, 19. Okay, so line 19. Now, what it's saying is we need to stylize it with a class. So if we just use an H3 tag, and actually, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to head over to style.css, right? Because that's where all the styles are. This is the markup. This is an HTML file where we put what we want on the page. But how we style it is style.css. And we make sure to have, and they already added it for us because they're kind on line 5, a link uh, to that style sheet, a reference to it. So style.css. Now, I do see there's an H2 here. I'm going to still scroll all the way to the bottom because I'm just going to do this as an example. Line 39, after the curly brace, I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to write H2 again. Now I'm going to hold shift and click the key next to the letter P, which is a curly bracket. I'm now going to hit enter. So I don't know, what styles do I want to add for this? Uh, font, family, and of course you should pick your own stuff, right? Uh, I really like monospace. I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, I'll do a background color. Why not? And background is the same as background color, guys. People often uh, overlook that. And sometimes it's nice to have the specificity of color. It makes it more readable, which is critical. So now I did background of blue. Oh, what was Graceful Bird? Oh, Graceful Bird's an H3. So I'm going to actually do that. Boom. Line 40 is now H3. So light blue. And then I will do... Mm, I like text decoration. Uh, underline cool and I don't know maybe I'll do a uh, border style double cool so all of that's added but notice it adds it to all my h2 things and I really just wanted it to do this graceful bird area so or all my h3s how can I make this happen well if I go to index.html and look where graceful bird starts this h3 I'm going to, for me, it's line 19 inside of the H3 tag. So after the number three, but before the greater than sign or the alligator mouth, I'm going to write class and I'll just call mine. You can call it whatever you want, but what would make sense for mine? I'll say bird. Okay. Now this won't do anything yet because we have to change up the style.css. So now I have class bird. Make sure your class names and quotes. I'm going to head back to the style.css. And instead of doing h3 on line 40, I'm going to do dot, which means class. And I'm going to write bird because that's the name of my class. Notice right away, all the other h3s no longer have that. This is only targeted now, all these styles, at whatever has that class. So now I'll head back to the index.html. And I'm going to add my class bird, spelling matters, to everything that involves this haiku. So on line 20 for me, inside the paragraph tag after the letter P, before the greater than sign or alligator mouth thingy, um, I'm going to do class bird again. And quapow, that suddenly has the identical style. And this is what's really nice about a class. You can add that style to different HTML elements. I can even add it to images. So on line 23 after IMG, I'm going to write class equals, and then in double quotes, bird space. And so I put it after IMG before SRC, you could put it elsewhere, just to prove a point, it would work fine, even if I put it after the alt tag, that would be fine as well. And it doesn't do as much, but it does give us that border. Finally, I guess this picks is part of this item part of this haiku stuff. So I'll add mine there as well. Class equals bird up to you where what is included and use at least three CSS properties. What does the BR? BR starts a new line. Where do they use that? Well, they definitely do. So 
Pada! Choose one haiku and give it a special look for it creating a class for its paragraph and heading. So if we want to be by the book here, guys. Paragraph. All right. The other stuff is extra. Refresh and save. Hit the requirements on that. Paragraph and heading. Onward.